What's up everybody? Welcome back to Horsepower Obsessed. Today we're going to talk about the C8 Corvette, specifically the Grand Sport, and why it's likely to not make an appearance for the 8th generation Corvette. All right, guys, so just like I said in the beginning there, the C8 Corvette Grand Sport is likely to not make an appearance for the eighth generation Corvette. And this isn't something overly new. If you guys can remember back probably close to two years ago now, we were talking about the fact that the Grand Sport was probably not going to exist for the eighth generation Corvette. Then we got a little bit of a conflicting report saying, yeah, it is going to come, but it's going to have a hybrid motor driving the front wheels and a couple different things. And now we're hearing again from a bunch of different news sources that the C8 Grand Sport isn't happening and that a new car called the E-Ray is going to take its place in the C8 Corvette lineup. Now the E-Ray name is not anything new either. We've talked about this for the last year and a half to two years as well because GM has constantly been filing trademarks for this E-Ray name, suggesting that it was going to make an appearance in the C8 Corvette lineup eventually. Well, now it's here and it is actually going to be replacing the Grand Sport. Now, supposedly, the reason that Chevy is going to do this is so they don't cloud the entire C8 Corvette lineup. So they don't want a million different models. And apparently, somehow, rebranding the Grand Sport and E-Ray helps them achieve that. There are three different major websites reporting on this right now, talking about the Grand Sport not existing for the 8th generation Corvette. And the fact that this has been information kind of tossed around for the last two to three years, I tend to want to believe that it's not going to happen. Now, for any of you OG subscribers, you will recall videos of me talking about the C8 Grand Sport or lack thereof dating back as far as two years ago. Now, like I said, this has been a rumor ongoing for quite some time, and apparently some websites have caught wind that this might actually be 100% accurate. On the GMAuthority.com website, the very first bit that they start talking about is apparently late last week they got to take a look at the C8 Corvette Z06 prototype that some publications framed as a possible C8 Grand Sport model. They said in that post that the future of the C8 Corvette Grand Sport was a bit hazy and it was possible GM could axe the variant completely. Now, they're here to report that the C8 Grand Sport has indeed hit the dustbin, aka it's been killed off. Now, GM Authority actually did grab some spy shots or newer spy shots of the C8 Corvette Z06, which I'm going to throw in here as well, just because it is pretty interesting to see this thing in motion and grab some pictures of it in the wild. So definitely pretty cool to see this thing shaping up. Like I said, this is very likely to be our next C8 Corvette variant. Now with this E-Ray replacing the Grand Sport, that could come right after the Z06 or possibly even right before the Z06. So we're definitely going to have to stay tuned on this one. But anyway, on the GMAuthority.com website, they go on to say that according to sources familiar with the matter, the C8 Grand Sport is not part of the C8 Corvette production plan. Instead, the upcoming Chevrolet Corvette E-Ray will indirectly replace the Grand Sport in the C8 lineup. For those who may be unaware, the Chevrolet Corvette E-Ray is an upcoming hybrid model variant of the latest C8 Corvette model line. In addition to the now familiar 6.2 liter V8 LT2 engine found in the standard C8 Stingray, the new E-Ray is expected to add electric motors up front, replacing the front trunk on the standard model to power the front wheels with electric power. As such, the new E-Ray will be both a hybrid and all-wheel drive. As I said earlier, guys, the people over at GMAuthority.com go on to say that they have previously uncovered the Corvette E-Ray name and has shown that it has been on at least two different patent applications, including one in 2015 and most recently in 2020. The total system output for the new E-Ray is expected to be around 600 horsepower and about 500 pound-feet of torque with electric juice sourced from the mid-engine mounted Altium battery pack. The E-Ray will also sport the same wide body treatment as the upcoming C8 Corvette Z06. The same way the Grand Sport would have if that model would have continued to exist in the 8th generation Corvette. The website goes on to talk a little bit more about the C8 Corvette Z06, talking about the fact that it is going to be a naturally aspirated 5.5 liter V8 LT6 
with dual overhead cam, 32 valves, and flat plane crank. We already know all that stuff, so we're not going to get too much into that. Apparently, GM did not want a Grand Sport and an E-Ray in the 8th generation Corvette lineup because, like I said, it kind of muddies things up. You're kind of throwing too many models out there, but at the same time, a lot of people are going to prefer the Grand Sport over the more hybrid setup of the E-Ray. I get it, totally understand, but I also see where GM's coming from with not wanting to muddy the water, so to speak. Now, the carbuzz.com and muscle cars and trucks websites go on to also report similar style news, but apparently this originated on the muscle cars and trucks website, which gave us a lot of really valuable information on the C8 Corvette before it launched in the very beginning, so I feel like they're a very reputable source of knowledge for this stuff. But they put it in kind of more simple terms. They said a C8 Grand sport may not be happening. Why? Because Chevy may launch the E-Ray instead. So literally that's as basic as it gets. The Grand Sport's not happening because they want to call it an E-Ray instead. If you guys recall the previous leaks I actually posted saying that the Grand Sport was going to have around 600 horsepower and about 500 pound-feet of torque and it was also going to have that front hybrid motor driving the front wheels giving it that entire all-wheel drive system. So other than the fact that it won't be called a Grand Sport, those numbers are all still legit based on the most recent leak here. Like I said earlier, the car is going to have the same wide body as the Z06 just like the Grand Sport would have, so there's really not any reason to have a Grand Sport and an E-Ray because they'd both basically be the same thing. And the website actually goes on to even ask, what could a new Grand Sport offer that the E-Ray won't? Little to nothing. So that's why GM decided to ax it. The carbuzz.com website goes on to say to expect the Z06 to arrive for the 2022 model year and the E-Ray sometime following that. Further down the road will of course be the Zora with upwards of a thousand horsepower, if not more. Definitely interesting stuff here because Car Buzz is also hinting at the fact that there will not be a ZR1 model. And this has been something that's been talked about in the past as well. The eighth generation Corvette lineup was likely to never have a Grand Sport and very likely to not have a ZR1. So instead it sounds like we're gonna have the Stingray, an E-Ray, and a Zora. So we're literally talking about an entirely different lineup than usual minus the Stingray. So we're getting new nameplates and an entirely new Corvette in general. Definitely cool stuff. I could definitely see this being the case just because Chevy wants to kind of stir things up a little bit, make the 8th generation Corvette something entirely new, and this is kind of a good way to do it. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. So if you liked what you saw, give me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions about the content, go ahead and shoot them in the comment section down below. But let me know what you think about this E-Ray instead of the Grand Sport. I think it's an interesting move, but it also kind of seems like a necessary move. So other than the Grand Sport nameplate, nothing's really changing outside of the previously leaked rumors. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'm going to have loads of C7 and C8 Corvette content coming that you are not going to want to miss. And as always, guys, I will catch you in the next upload. <laughs>